lot. You know why we don't have spark? Because <laughs> some moron forgot to release the uh, flywheel brake. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Hey guys and welcome back. In this one I've got an old uh, kind of roached out MTD push mower. I think it's got the four and a half Briggs on it. Um, this actually belongs to one of my buddies. It's the same guy who uh, gave me the dirt bike, the first video that I ever posted. Um, so he found this in the barn and he actually has a need for it. So um, it's it's in pretty rough shape. It's not locked up. Um, the, just looking at it right off, I noticed the, uh, sorry, the, uh, cable is broke for the flywheel brake. Uh, I took the top off of the, uh, gas tank and it's got about two inches of sludge in it. I'll show you that, uh, in a minute, but I don't know. It's free, so let's, uh. Sorry, the motor's free. So let's get into it and see uh, see what we can do with it, see if it can be saved. Um, give me a minute to get set up, and uh, we'll get after it. All right, so the first thing I want to do is get the, uh, get the cable loose so we can kind of get all this out of the way. got another junk mower out there that has this same engine on it um, so I think I'm gonna pull the uh, let's see if I can show you this tank while we're thinking about it here I was mistaken. It's not sludge. It's I, that's one of the other ones I was looking at the other night. But this one's it's in pretty bad shape, pretty rusty, and so, like I said, I think I'm gonna pull the other one. It it actually still had fuel in it, and it wasn't in near as bad a shape. But um, the first thing I want to do, I want to get that uh, flywheel brake released and uh, spin it over, see if we have. See if we have spark, um, kind of start there. If we do, I might dribble a little fuel in and see if she wants to try. But uh, give me a minute, let me, let me get the appropriate toolage and uh, we'll see what we got. All right guys, let's get the plug out. Let's see what we got. So it's pretty uh pretty wet, not too bad, but so uh, get it cleaned up. Let's see what we got.
comes the fun part. See what we can see here. see anything but plug on there see if that's the problem some moron forgot to release the uh, flywheel brake yeah good stuff man good stuff all right let me uh, let me get that handled and uh, we'll come back and we'll see if we have a spark okay Good strong spark. Alright, so now let's throw some fuel in there. Let's see what she wants to do. We got some uh premix. Just because I'm guessing this thing hasn't been running a whole bunch of years. light back on too, huh?
to shoot Arl at the exhaust. No, I did check the oil by the way before I started. It's ugly, but it's in there. Alright guys, let me do a little uh little research and figure out what we got here. Alright, I'm not sure why she's being hateful, but I shot a little pre-mix just straight down into the carb. She liked that, so. So we have a runner. Um, I think what I'm going to do now, like I talked about, I'm going to go get that other uh, tank and probably carb We'll get the tank cleaned out. I'm probably just gonna fill it up with some acetone and let it sit and uh, In the meantime, we'll go through the carb and spray it out, but let me uh, Let me get that off and uh, We'll come back and um, switch them out All right, so I got the tank off the uh, the old jump mower I was noticing I so this has been sitting out here getting rained in, in and on, but the carb actually looks like it's in better shape, the primer bulb and everything. So I may just wind up trying to use this whole setup. What I'm doing now, there's five screws holding this carb on. I want to get it off so I can go through it. And Go ahead and get the tank filled up, put some acetone in it, and see uh, see how well we can get it back. Like I say, it's not it's really not bad inside at all. A little bit of junk in there, but for the most part, it's okay. Yeah, that's water, by the way. take those out while we still know where they are ah. all right guys let me grab some uh acetone and we'll get that tank soaking without making a complete mess. kind of what I was trying to avoid. So that should do well to pull the paint right off the top of the uh, parts washer. I 
that for now and in the meantime let's uh let's get back on the mower like I say I the oil was in really bad shape so I guess while we're doing that we'll start working on the oil um, get that changed out and we still got to pull the cable for the flywheel brake off the other one too so we'll get on that So Briggs says this mower holds somewhere between 15 and 18 ounces. Start there. I can't see. Give her another snort. I like it. Let's go with that. Alright, so I got the old tank and I'm sorry the the one that I pulled from the jump mower, the tank and the carb, I've got it cleaned out. I decided to use the carb because um, it just looked like it was in better shape and the primer bulb uh, is actually functional. I checked it. So we're going to use that one. I also want to get the uh, get this off the top. I think it'll make it a little easier to work the linkage loose on the card.
hopefully you guys can see that. Just that fast, I lost it. Probably going to need to do some spring work there. Now I don't remember how it was. right do now put some gas in it see if it'll run why not let's do that So I changed my mind. I have so much confidence that this mower is going to run.
that I am going to go ahead and fix the uh, flywheel brake cable and put the handle back on it and all that good stuff before we try to crank it because when I'm done I want to be done so let me go get uh, go rob some more parts off the jump mower get them back in here and we'll get back to it so the cable set up on the two are a little different Probably gonna have to rig something up here to kind of hold it. Can't use the old one because, well, I broke it. So let's see. I don't know how much of that other cable was gone. Looks like the same setup. I'm sure, we can make something work. All right, let me get the handle mounted back on it so we can kind of see what we need to do to get that setup to function. Give me just a minute. All right, so let me see. I'll show you what we got here. So that, that cable is different. So what I've got here is I've kind of got the flywheel brake pulled off using just two screwdrivers to hold it out. Which will put the cable at a full extension. So what I want to do, or what I have done, I don't know how well you can see it, but I've got it measured so that when the handle's pulled tight, that cable is going to be fully extended and I've got it marked there I'm gonna drill a new hole to mount the new handle and up here I was worried about it being like not long enough but I think it's gonna be fine it's pretty close um, so let's get those holes drilled in there and uh, get this thing mounted and then we'll figure out a way to kind of hold that down to see how we're gonna make it work but anyway first things first let's get the new handle mounted alright I don't know how well you can see it on camera but right here in this area is where I want to be with the the mount hole so take a little punch here I think we were through to the other side with that bit, so I'm going to have to switch to a little bigger step bit. Hang on. Alright, we got that one drilled out. Just a hair bigger. Fits good now. So what I want to do is kind of get a measurement to where we're at. Looks like it's about seven and three quarter on the center. So I'll make you sit through another one. Let me get that drilled and get the handle mounted and uh, bring you back. 
Uh, so here's the problem we've got now. That, that works fine. It's in the right place. But when you go to compress it, we're hitting right here. Now this other side has like a flange to keep it off. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm going to throw a few washers. We'll go full trailer park on this thing. Throw a few washers on it right here to kind of hold it off. Because if it's off, it, it does fine. See, we just need clearance. So try that and see how that works. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. I started thinking that didn't work. The washer just flopped all over. So I, was, I started thinking maybe a bushing would work better. But there's what we wound up with. Just a regular old nut. It binds right there on the corner. Can't go anywhere. And you still got room for that to get in. So this is one of those, you know, I can't believe what a genius I am moments. Now, the next problem is you got to figure out how to stop the uh, cable from kind of wiggling around there so let me wreck my brain and see what we're going to do about that and uh, bring you back in all right so there's my fix for right now that's going to have to do um it holds it in place lets it do what it's supposed to do so like i said for now it'll work so we're going to go with that um I guess it's time to see if it will run off of its own. I just put gas in it. <clears throat> so let's see what she does. I don't know if that primer is working or not. Doesn't feel like it is. I thought this was going to be the better of the two, but. Think she's pulling anything. Run good if it was getting gas.
throttle like we're supposed to. This spring's weak. that diaphragm when I was putting this car back in and it come apart at the edges but I was hoping it was going to seal when I put it back down so that may be the problem too the other one's going to be in any better shape but let's get it apart and see all right guys so here's where we're at um the car was shot i've been through it twice i replaced i went to town earlier and got a uh i got a new diaphragm and a base gasket thing and the diaphragm was the problem um it will run if i play with it let me show you It's not the end of the world, at least now we know that it is salvageable, it will run. I've already ordered, uh, I found a replacement carb for it, and actually you can get the carb and the tank all together for a few dollars more, so I just went ahead and did that, but um, I hate doing this, but I, I really need to get a video out, so I'm going to stop, I'm going to call this part one, um, when the, the new tank and the carb comes, we'll get it, sw we'll get it switched out, and uh, get her all brand new again but uh for now that's gonna have to be it because it's gonna be three or four days before i can get the car but anyway guys um i appreciate you hanging out with me hopefully you got something out of it so far and uh next week we will get the uh the new setup and get her back cutting but uh appreciate it guys have a good night